What's up, YouTube? This is Barnon11970. Thank you for watching my video. Alright, guys. People that watch my videos know that I tend to try and um, put things in a way that makes you think about things. So that's what I'm going to try and do right now regarding a situation that I've been go having going through my head about the Sandy Hook shooting. Now, can I prove one way or another that it was a conspiracy, it was done by other people, it was legitimate. I don't know. You can only go based on the information provided. Um, unless you were there, you're never going to really know. But that doesn't mean you should just take whatever somebody tells you at face value. You should research it, especially if it doesn't make sense. You know, if you have a cheating spouse and every night they're, they're supposed to be home at 5 o'clock, and they come home every night at midnight and say they're working late every time or make some excuse, you shouldn't just sit there after a year of that happening and say, well, it must be true. Sometimes you have to check things and verify things or at least question things. So what I ask is for some of the people out there, um, listen to this entire video before you make any judgment and don't use normalcy bias because that's how easily people can be controlled because like they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Now regarding the Sandy Hook situation, there were 27 people in total that died. Let me ask you a question. How many people were wounded? Not one. So think about the scenario of what's happening. In theory, you have a lone gunman supposedly going into a public school with whatever guns. Let's just assume he had the right guns. Now I can understand the first couple of shots when people don't know what's going on because nobody is in school expecting to be shot at. So I can assume that the the element of surprise at first he would be very good at his first couple of shots and probably get a kill every time. But once people start realizing that there is a crazed gunman and people are running all over the place and there's panic, are you telling me this 20-year-old kid had such an incredible ability to make a kill shot that he went 27 for 27 shot to kill ratio with not one person wounded? I want you to think about that, and I want you to research any mass shooting in history where there were over, let's say, 10 kills. Find one instance where some mass murderer did not wound at least one person. I want you to think about that and see how the story with all the situations that are coming up just does not seem to fit right. And I understand where people say, well, it involves children, we shouldn't disrespect them and dishonor their death. Well, wouldn't it be a dishonor to their death if we just accepted what is being told to us by people we know are dishonest? I mean, let's face it, when was the last time you trusted your government to give you truthful, honest, helpful information? And yet, when a tragedy occurs to this magnitude, we're just going to blatantly accept without question the story told? I think that's a very dangerous thing. Now, I'm not saying that it's not possible. And I'm not saying this could have been a legitimate thing where one person went in and shot all these people. It can happen. But that doesn't mean I should just accept what a media who's been known to lie and governments who have been known to be dishonest. I shouldn't just take it as face value and not question it. That is irresponsible. So I hope you'll think about that with this. And research. I want to know if anybody ever knew a mass shooting where not one person was injured and every single person shot at died. There's something that comes to mind when it comes to like military. When you have a messenger trying to get out a message, 
and you don't you're the the you're the you're the other person on the other side and you don't want your enemy to get that message through you're not going to just shoot that person once you're going to shoot that person until you know they're dead because there's an old saying that says dead men tell no tales so i just find it interesting that in a mass shooting where there's going to be chaos children running everywhere a 20 year old who has Asperger's disease you're going to tell me that he killed 27 people and not one person got nicked by a bullet or wounded at all that's one hell of a shooter if you ask me I want you to think about that question things nothing wrong with it peace